of Chemistry Colleen at Little Anthony's Diner in Tucson, Arizona. I can't wait for you to go in this cool, cool 1950s soda shop. Let's go. Hi, hmm, I'm wondering what to order in this soda shop or otherwise known as a soda fountain. Did you ever wonder about the word soda? What does that mean? I know, I know, it's that yummy, delicious, fizzy drink that we all love with a lot of sugar. But do you ever think of the word soda like in baking soda? They both come from the same element, and that element is sodium. So a long, 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 long time ago, you know how they got bubbles in soda? They took baking soda and put that in, and it made carbon dioxide bubbles. So sodium bicarbonate is baking soda. So you seeing this? Sodium bicarbonate is baking soda. And if you put that into a yummy, sugary drink, it becomes just, well, soda. So let's see what we should get today. Hmm. Wait, what? There's something on this menu I've never seen before. A black cow? I don't know about that. Let me read the description of a black cow for you. A black cow, oh, this is getting good now. A black cow is actually root beer with ice cream. Oh, 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 it's a, like a root beer float, except for it's, oh, that's interesting. It's super blended. They blend it up so there are no foamy bubbles. You know how when you drink a root beer float, you take that first sip and you get that root beer, bubbly, foamy mustache all over your face? Well, when you order a black cow, the only one in the state of Arizona, by the way, at Little Anthony's Diner, it's all blended. So you get creamy, delicious ice cream and root beer all together. So what happened to the bubbles? Well, okay, you all know me as Chemistry Colleen, so here I go. When you make a root beer float, the carbon dioxide, remember there's carbon dioxide in soda. The carbon dioxide bubbles rise up and get trapped by the fat in the ice cream. So all that foam you see is a sea of carbon dioxide bubbles trapped in the fat. That's pretty cool. Anyway, 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 I digress because it's a super hot day here and I really want a black cow. So order up. cannot wait. But before I dive in, I need to show you the science. Take a quick look at this. Do you see there are no bubbles? I know there's whipped cream, but whipped cream's not the same as those carbon dioxide bubbles. It's not foamy, it's creamy. This is so magical. I'm so excited. All right, can I take a quick sip? Yeah! Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna dive in now. Yeah! A black cow's the way to go. I may do this always when I'm making my root beer floats. You know, who needs those carbon dioxide bubbles anyway? Stay tuned for part two for another episode about soda where we're gonna make a really, really, really fun and huge soda fountain. Not this kind of soda fountain, so stay tuned to see what we make at Chemistry Colleen. See you periodically. <laughs>